This is my 2001 Kia Carnival, which has a 2.9 liter dual overhead camshaft or DOHC turbo engine. Yep, it's 21 years old, and in recent months, the emission coming out of its exhaust pipe has become even blacker and thicker, especially during acceleration or high revving. And in this video, we're gonna do two things that will hopefully eliminate or at least reduce that black smoke. Basically, we're gonna make its combustion process more efficient, dissolve carbon buildup in the engine, and decarbonize its exhaust system, all without removing a single part. Here we go. The first thing we gotta do is break down the carbon buildup already present inside the engine and at the same time make the combustion of fuel and air happen more efficiently. This way, we drastically reduce carbon from being produced further at the root cause. I do this by mixing an additive with the engine oil. This is Aero Metal Guard. And this 250 milliliter bottle is enough to mix with 4 to 6 liters of engine oil. I bought this for 700 pesos and it's suitable for either diesel or gasoline engines. Okay, there are a lot of oil additives sold in the market, but I decided to go with Aero Metal Guard because of what I've seen it can do to stop smoke almost immediately, especially for older vehicles like mine. So we're gonna empty this bottle into the engine in a bit, but first, I wanna show you just how bad the black smoke is coming out from this carnival. Now, don't get me wrong, gasoline and diesel engines both produce chemical emissions harmful to the environment. Actually, a gasoline engine produces 40% or more greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide than diesel engines. On the other hand, diesel engines, while cleaner with respect to most emissions and considerably more fuel efficient, produce more nitrous and sulfur oxides as well as particulate matter than gasoline engines. Particulate matter from diesel engines has the same chemical composition as the smoke that comes off from burning charcoal. It is visible because its molecules are large enough to create gas clouds like smog or the black smoke diesel engines are notorious for. And it is dangerous because it causes respiratory and blood issues among people. Okay, now that we've emptied the bottle, it's time to replace the oil cap and do 3-4 to four minutes of high revs cycling through three levels of revolutions per minute or RPM. Two thousand RPM. Three thousand RPM. and all the way up to 4,000 RPM. This will allow the additive to mix well with the engine oil and start breaking down carbon buildup from all the metallic parts of the engine, thereby making the pistons move more freely. The net result? A more efficient combustion and lesser smoke. The sheer force of the high revs will also push residual carbon particles out of the exhaust system. But whatever you do, never rev past your engine's redline, or else you'll likely blow a gasket or two, and that is not good. Now it's time to drive the vehicle around the neighborhood for at least 5 minutes. The second thing we gotta do is remove the carbon particles stuck on the inner walls of the exhaust pipe. And you'd be surprised how much there is, especially for a diesel engine vehicle like this. While the engine is off, simply slide a garden hose through the tailpipe as far as it would go. Let the water loose until you see it start to pour out. Then start the engine. And just like before, we cycle through the high revs for a few minutes.
We keep on doing this until there's very little black water gushing out. How long it will take will really depend on how much carbon particles are clinging inside the walls of your exhaust pipe. With the engine off, we finally retract our garden hose. And then, restart the engine to do more high revving. As the exhaust pipe heats up, it transforms the water into steam. It's actually the steam that breaks down the carbon particles inside the exhaust pipe while water washes them out. As you rev higher and higher, you'll see black smoke getting worse before it gets better. This is expected and you'll just have to trust the process. I do this decarbonization process once or twice a year, just after having my engine oil changed and or before having my vehicle's registration renewed. And ever since I've started doing this several years ago, I've never failed a single emission test. Okay, I know we made a lot of black mess here, so let me do the responsible thing and wash this off before I show you the final results. Good thing I have a pressure washer. So we are back and everything is clean now. It's also the next day because I wanted to wait until everything is dry so it would be easier to see the comparison. Now, I have no illusion that black smoke would be 100% gone, but from my experience, this two-step method reduces the excess emissions by as much as 70-80%. to 80%. The engine also becomes more responsive and regains some of its power back, and it stays that way until my next oil change. <laughs> 